Uh, Max Miller is amazing. He's really like, he's just pushed me to do so many things and gotten me through so many times. Like He talks about stuff that a lot of people can uh, identify with, you know, life, love, all kinds of stuff. Either that or, you know, even when he's just like rapping to just rap. Like, it's a lot of stuff people can identify with and come together. His presence and his energy, you can feel from like miles away. I got a chance to meet him on the Divine Feminine Tour and when I got to take the picture with him, I asked him to sign my arm. And after the show, I went and got his signature autograph tattooed on my arm. But he's always been someone who has been really relatable for me. And I've always like kind of found his music as something that I could relate to. And it kind of just helped me like think through things and really just like kind of helped me through some tough times. And just to watch the evolution in a kid who could drop mixtapes out of his bedroom, you know, from his hometown and blow up in that kind of way and just share that kind of experience with my friends and be like, we can do this too. Um, that was just a really fun feeling to know it was possible. I could list so many songs of Mac Miller's that take me back to different times in my life where I kind of needed them. That album entirely, Divine Feminine, it helped me through a lot of stuff at home and it really did change my life and I'm forever grateful for that. I have all of this nostalgia when I hear even songs like Donald Trump, you know, those songs like that are just so youthful. Um, they remind me of being in high school and you know, not really knowing what like partying was and wanting to be able to do that, but also wanting to have really human, authentic experiences. And he really seemed to capture that, even as a kid. <laughs>